What is up? What's going on guys and welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. So I really wanted to be able to do this video outside, but the weather is absolutely terrible right now. It's sunny as can be, but the, uh, the wind is just absolutely out of control and we all know how wind and audio do not really go together. Today you guys are going to be watching my absolute favorite video to make every single month and that's the LTV XL versus the MTV Pro all right here in one video so you guys don't have to go search the internet here and there for different videos and whatnot you get to see it all right here so go ahead and do me a favor real quick guys before we get started smash that little subscribe button right here or just above the description just scroll down just a little bit hit that little red subscribe button if you don't like the video towards the end you can unsubscribe if you want to you're not going to be doing that though because i guarantee you're going to enjoy this all right guys so as stated ltb xl MTV Pro right here in one video. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to go over each bait from each box, but I'm going to start with LTV because they've been winning this little competition we got going on here. I like to call the battle of the boxes every month. So we're going to start with Lucky Tackle Box. We're going to go one lure, then we're going to go Mystery Tackle Box one lure. Back and forth, back and forth uh, until complete. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so first up on the list for Lucky Tackle Box, we have a live target swim bait. It's a thread fin shad. So it's a good thing that I got this because I've really been wanting to get into swim bait fishing and uh, what better way to start than with a, a live target that looks like this. I mean, you hear about matching the hatch and uh, that this pretty much does it for everywhere I fish. So hopefully they'll be able to catch me a big old swatch with this. So with this, the little fin you got right here actually is a uh, almost like a weed guard for the hook. Uh, the tail oscillates back and forth to make it look a little more live like and uh, it's all around It's just a soft. It's a soft bait with a real stout looking hook So I'm extremely excited to be able to use this All right, so next we're moving on to the mystery tackle box and we have here a Bagley spinners This is a 3 8 ounce just a regular little spinner bait nothing 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 special to it. It looks like it's a uh, it's like a purple color. I'm not a big fan of spinner baits, uh, at least not as much as I believe I should be. Uh, if a situation calls for throwing a spinner bait, I prefer to throw a chatter bait. I don't know why that is. Uh, it's always seemed to work for me, so I don't know. But Russell will definitely enjoy the spinner bait. All right, guys. Next up in the Lucky Tackle box, we have some Mustad Ball Head Pearl Quarter Ounce Jig Heads. Uh, what happens is Lucky Tackle box is gonna send you hooks in almost every single box and they're gonna send you soft plastics as well so those hooks are made specifically for those soft plastics all right next up for the mystery tackle box we have a lucky craft uh what is this this is a flash minnow a tr 95 sp so this is a high performance jerk bait this is going to absolutely kill it here in a couple months late fall i would say late fall moving into that winter uh stage is absolutely going to kill it Russell and I both destroyed fish on the jerkbait this past winter. It's in a real nice baby bass type color. It's got a real thin, narrow profile as well. Not really as thick as some of the jerkbaits uh, Russell and I used to using. But absolutely, without a doubt, we'll be throwing this come this winter. All right, next up with the Lucky Tackle Box, we have the Baitmate Ultra Live Baits. Next best thing to live bait is what it says. Uh, obviously, it says it's infused with Baitmate. You can tell it's got some like watery type bait mate substance in the package and this is the bait that's going to go hand in hand with those jigs that lucky tackle box sent as well all right and next up with the mystery tackle box we have a bd series topwater lure and this is going to be more for it's almost like a popper slash a spook you can do whatever you want to with it it's got this little tiny lip on it it'll pop uh it's long like a regular you know spook would be or something like that so it's got this little fuzzy tail on it as well absolutely crush it with the BD series lures in general. So you know this is gonna be a, a real quality made lure. Also, this is gonna be coming in a clutch color. It's a gunmetal shad. For whatever reason, this gunmetal type shad, sexy shad, chartreuse and sexy shad, just really killer colors here, especially in North Carolina. All right, so next up with the Lucky Tackle Box XL, we have some Bass Attacker Lizards infused with bass fuel. Not too sure what bass fuel is, Probably something good though, I guess. Uh, it says they're made in the USA. You can never go wrong with that. It looks like they're in a really dark green color. Not, not necessarily a green pumpkin, but just a really, really dark green. Overall, they look pretty good. Definitely something that I would throw kind of near some grass or something like that. Trying to entice the bass and get those reaction strikes. 
Moving on to the mystery tackle box, what we have here is a heavy metal tungsten punch rig. This is, what color? This is black and Okeechobee crawl. It's a, half, it's a half an ounce. So if you guys aren't familiar with tungsten, a half an ounce lead weight is gonna be huge. A half an ounce tungsten weight is gonna be tiny. Tungsten overall is gonna be a lot smaller of a profile than lead or say brass or any kind of weights like that. It's tungsten is definitely the way to go. If you haven't fished with tungsten, uh, pick you some up, I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. This is definitely something that you'd wanna be throwing around this time of year when it's the dead of summer. It's really hot outside. The bass are really tight in the cover uh, under them grass mats. You're not gonna be able to punch through a whole lot with a half ounce tungsten weight, but if it's just a little bit of grass on the surface, something like that, something you can't get anything weightless down through, something like this comes in handy. All right, next up with the Lucky Tackle Box, we have Trapper Tackle. These things are starting to get pretty popular. I think three months in a row now, maybe two months, I've got these hooks. Haven't used them yet. Haven't been in a situation where I felt like I needed to use these, but I think I'm just gonna go throw these on and uh, give them a try. I've seen people post pictures here recently using these hooks and they look like they work pretty good. So definitely can't knock them till you try them. Next up with the Mystery Tackle Box, we have some Wrecking Crawls. And these things are just absolutely crazy. These are Smokeachobee Crawl is what they're called. They're green pumpkin on the top and a smoke gray with some black flake on the bottom. These things look pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. This will match up really well with that punching skirt that you guys just saw. So it's got three things on the front, wreck and crawl, uh, you punch with it, jig trailer, shaky head, maybe chatterbait trailer, something like that. You get creative, just use them however, you know? All right, moving on to Lucky Tackle Box, we have a Lunker Hunt Froglet. So I don't know if you guys have seen these or not, but these are the longer, slimmer frogs that Lunker Hunts uh, came out with. Some of you guys may have seen these before. If you have, let me know in the comments below. I haven't seen these until recently, and by recently, I mean probably about the past three months or so. I do not own any of these until now, uh, so I'm definitely gonna try this out. This thing looks just absolutely awesome. It looks like your hook set may even increase just as, as slim as the profile of it is. All right, next up with the Mystery Tackle Box, we got some KVD Perfect Plastics, and these are called Baby Rodents. So what this is, this is basically just a little beaver style bait. What you're gonna do with this is you can also you can also hook this up on that little uh, that little punch rig, little skirt that uh, MTB gave you. So you're gonna just basically punch it through. There's not a ton of action with these, and you're not really looking for it to have a ton of action. You just punch it down, you kind of jig it up and down a couple times, you don't get a bite, you reel it back. I would say punch, jig it twice, two, three times, pull it back up, you don't get a bite, go to another spot. Um, KVD Perfect Plastics have always worked for me. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're tough and they're durable too. They're not necessarily, you're not gonna go through two fish and have to replace them. So that's good, especially if you're you know, spending money on something like this. You don't wanna have to go through four bags of these in one weekend. You know, one, one bag will last you an entire weekend. All right, last but not least for the Lucky Tackle Box, we have a Jenko Fishing CD20 one ounce deep diving crankbait. So this thing can dive up to 20 feet. The color of this is, was it Tropical Shad? I like to refer to it as a uh, chartreuse, sexy shad type color. Not only did I need a deep diving crankbait, but I needed one in this specific color. I absolutely love this color for any kind of water clarity, to be honest. So this thing's got some super stout BMC hooks on it. Uh, I have never had an issue with, with these crankbaits and BMC hooks. They've always done good to me. It's fairly loud and it's got a real nice bill on it. Uh, it the bill just absolutely just does everything it's supposed to do. Bounce you off any kind of structure, any kind of cover you need it to. Awesome, awesome crankbait, hands down. All right, last but not least, in the Mystery Tackle Box Pro, we got some pegs you peg your weights with we got a zone lock flipping hook a flipping specific hook and we got some garlic scent all right so with all that being said we're now going to add up the cost to each box the lucky tackle box versus the mystery tackle box now i paid 23.99 a month for lucky tackle box russell pays 25 dollars a month for mystery tackle box let's add these up and find out how much each of them cost all right so the lucky tackle box this month is going to be coming in at $46.24. Not a bad deal for $23.99 a month and you get $46 worth of lures. The Mystery Tackle Box is coming in at $47.93. Again, not a bad deal. You're paying $25 a month for the MTB Pro. You're getting $47. Well, we'll call it $48. $48 worth of lures or baits or whatever in there. 
Both boxes, not bad, not bad at all. So go ahead and do me a favor, guys, before you click off this video. Real quick, drop a comment down below. Drop your vote. Cast your vote. Who do you think won? Do you think Mystery Tackle Box won this month? Do you think Lucky Tackle Box won this month? Please feel free to let me know. Also, if you guys are looking to purchase one of these, I have a $5 off code for any Lucky Tackle Box. I have the Bass specific box, but they have almost every other kind of box you, you can think of. Inshore, saltwater, catfish, uh, panfish, trout, all kinds of good stuff. I have a $5 off code linked down below in the description. Feel free to check it out. Use it if you'd like. And with all that being said, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Let Yak Pack Outdoors earn your subscription. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch y'all next time.